This is Jeremy Azvita with Crave Online, and I'm here with Ross Robinson and Mopa. The new album that you guys have been working on is pretty unusual. It's uh, a weird mixture in between um, a classical piano, um, a singer yelling, and hardcore drumming. And uh, yeah, it's pretty ruthless. It's all about um, the way we, we feel. It's not about technical things or chops or, you know, metal or being brave in front of everybody. It's more like expressing what you are in a, in a true way. At the beginning, we wanted to, uh, <laughs> to get out the, you know, all this uh, world of guitars and, uh, yeah, play piano over screamings and, uh, and drums and see what happens. It's different and unique and it pushes the boundaries for people to, to expand and grow off of, I think. Um, music is so homogenized in the same shit happening over and over and over and over and over. So as I understand it, based on what you're saying, uh, it's not that you guys just happen to be playing piano and drums and singing, it's that you specifically set out to sort of defy the convention. Is that like what you went out to do? That was a huge part of the deal, just, you know, saying shit to... Uh... So this world, uh, musical world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My own private Alaska. Were you guys aware when you picked your name that MOPA also stands for Master Oscillator Power Amplifier, which is part of the laser beam like, no, we only knew uh, we we learned recently that mopa in russian means uh, c the c so what we get pretty sea? stuck to it no c the seaside like, like the ocean the oh, ocean yeah. yeah i like the laser beam better yeah, okay that's what i'm saying master oscillator power amplifier now ma master oscillator power amplifier which is part of the laser beam um, are you guys upset that you're sort of like disqualified from appearing in guitar hero I'm cool. you know funny that you should mention it I've been thinking of starting a band where it's just a singer a drummer and a taco <laughs> and it's gonna go something like this like <laughs> I'm feeling the vibe actually yeah all right um to give some people some some background on you um, you're often referred to as the godfather of new metal, uh, which uh, Here, let me eat that <laughs> I know. I know you're not uh, terribly happy with the term, but is that maybe because that what's happening now is so different than like what you were doing then? Like, uh, what happened uh, to that genre, and is there still life in it? Um, the the genre as a genre to me is absolutely dead, and it, it was dead the moment. Um, it was like overwhelmingly taking over all of music and all the all these bands, second rate bands using like a little formula and tune down guitars to and tag themselves and using Egyptian scales in their vocals. Oh, to be a godfather is something that's soulless I feel really ill about. That's why I'm always Putting it down. It's just so bad. Aside from from the new metal thing, right? Um, you sort of pioneered the sound of like the post-hardcore bands, like at the drive-in, Glassjaw, which then eventually turned into like screamo and then emo, right? Um, what is it about your sound that becomes like so? I don't know. Misconstrued later on. I don't know. You hear something and it, and it overwhelms you with with this great sense of oh my god, I feel alive. And you're a musician, what do you want to do? It becomes an influence, you know, but the thing where it, where it's 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 going haywire is that they're copying riffs maybe or or a tuning or a style of vocal or something and not 
the heart intention that we were throwing down, which created something that you haven't heard yet in those bands, you know, at that time. Is there anybody that you'd really like to work with that you haven't? And would you ever do like a strictly hip hop album? <laughs> hip hop? No, absolutely not. No way. Who would I want to work with? Basically, the Claxons, and and I haven't worked with them yet. Before that, my answer answer was always the Cure. And, and because I said that, I got to do them. It's my favorite band ever, and I wanted it to satisfy the fans, you know? I wanted to turn them on, man. So when it's not there, it was just like, ugh, you know? Shrieks of fear would run down my spine and be like, oh, that's the sign for me to get in there and step at the f up, you know? And I was pretty hardcore with them. And, uh, yeah. Great. Pace yourself. Don't do it like the cinnamon. Remember the cinnamon, yeah. <laughs> 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 